teams that have experienced some success in the NCAA tournament meet when the second-seeded Marquette Golden Eagles face the number 15-seeded Western Kentucky Hilltoppers in a South Region first-round showdown on Friday. The Golden Eagles, 25-9 who are making their 36th NCAA appearance, have made 16 trips to the Sweet 16 and are 42-36 all-time in the tournament. The Hilltoppers, 22-11, who are making their 24th NCAA appearance, have won at least one game in three of the last four NCAA tournaments in which they have played. Marquette won the only meeting between the schools, a 79-60 win during the opening round of the 1976 NCAA tournament. Tyler Kolek, oblique, is expected to play for Marquette despite missing the last six games. Tip-off is set for 2 p.m. Eastern Time from Gainbridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Marquette has a plus-minus 8. 5-point differential, 40th best in the nation while Western Kentucky has a PLUS 6. 5 differential, 80th best. The Golden Eagles are 14. 5 point favorites in the latest Western Kentucky vs Marquette odds from Sportsline Consensus, while the over, under for total points scored is 157. Before making any Marquette vs Western Kentucky picks, be sure to see the college basketball predictions and betting advice from the Sportsline projection model. The model simulates every div. I college basketball game 10,000 times. It enters the 2024 NCAA tournament on a 148 to 106 roll on all top rated college basketball picks dating back to last season, returning more than $1.700 for $100 players. It also has a strong 29-19, plus 810, record on top-rated spread picks this season. Anyone following it has seen huge returns. Now, the model has set its sights on Marquette vs WKU. You can visit Sportsline now to see the picks. Here are several college basketball betting lines and trends for WKU vs Marquette. Senior forward Oso Iodaro is nursing a knee injury but is expected to play. He missed the final seven minutes of the Big East Championship game, but still finished with eight points, four assists and three rebounds. He poured in 20 points and added three assists and three boards in the semifinal win over Providence. Iodaro has registered double-figure scoring in seven of the past ten games, and has four double-doubles on the year. In 33 games, all starts, he is averaging 14 points, 6, 9 rebounds, 2, 9 assists, 1, 2 blocks and 1 steal in 32, 3 minutes. Junior David Joplin has reached double-digit scoring in 21 games, including each of the past three. In the loss to UConn in the Big East final, Joplin scored 12 points, while grabbing 6 rebounds. He had 12 points, 6 boards and 2 blocks in the semifinal win over Providence. In 34 games, all starts, he is averaging 10. 9 points and 3. 8 rebounds in 27. 3 minutes. See which team to back at Sportsline. Senior forward Rodney Howard has come up big when needed this season.